What's going on, YouTube? It feels like tuning with y'all. Today is Saturday, August 11, 2012. Here in the Eastern Time Zone, we're about 18 minutes away from Sunday, August 12, 2012. As you know, we've been hit midnight. And instead of um, doing three, four videos, which would probably end up that way if I was the way I was going to, talk about certain, some about a different topic. I'm just going to put it in one video and get it over with. This is the Eight Fizzle Update. And as y'all know, I just got back from Alaska Wednesday night. You know, I was there for a week. Went, went to see my family, went to see this fine ass Samoa that I have a crush on. Can't wait to see her again though. Uh, I got some new, I got some news to drop on y'all. I might, don't get, don't misquote me. I might be moving to Alaska next year. It's, it's not official yet. We still gotta go over the stuff. You know, I might be moving to Alaska next year. So, are you Georgia cats? Your boy might be out your head forever. You know, cause I know I give y'all a lot of shit with that rubbing them Broncos and the Florida Gators in your face. You know, I'm always go taking shots at your Falcons, taking shots at your Hawks, taking shots at your Georgia Bulldogs. For for most of for uh, most of y'all, the only only thing we see out of eye on is the Atlanta Braves. Because I am ATL Braves fan all day, every day. I rip those boys till I fucking die. I don't give a fuck about the Falcons. I don't give a fuck about the Hawks. And I damn sure don't give a fuck about the Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, and I know I've been getting y'all a lot of shit, so. Yeah, you know, I might get that. I might get the fuck out y'all here. I might get the fuck out y'all here and let y'all live peacefully next year. Might. Or I might just sit here next year and give y'all some more help. But yeah, um, April's update, you know, that's pretty much it, you know, went to, yeah, went to work, um, Thursday, yesterday, and today, um, I was beat as fuck when I got home from, um, like, yeah, I was beat as fuck when I got home from the airport, tired as hell, pretty much been sleeping the entire week, but yeah, work, sleep, work, sleep, work, sleep, and yeah, and Saturday, y'all probably, you know, y'all probably wonder, hey, Fizzle, don't you supposed to be at Hooters since you like to post? Videos and pictures, I mean, videos at Hooters and post pictures of Hooters girls up on your page. You taking pictures well. Don't you supposed to be there? Why are you at home on a Saturday night? I'm tired. Because I've been sleeping and working. You know, you work your sleep, you, you know, you had too much sleep and you work too much. You, you're not going to want to do anything when you get home. So just chill out. So, this weekend, you're chilling out. And anyway, besides, you know, I'm pretty much going to wait till, um, for the most part, I'm probably going to wait till college football and the NFL come back to five. Go out again, you know, I'm probably, I'm probably go to the sports bar, sports page. If y'all have been to Columbus, y'all probably familiar with the sports page. I'll probably be there on September 1st for um, college football kickoff. You know, Florida Gators are taking on Bowling Green. You know, if I get off early, because I, I probably will have to work Saturday, so. Yeah, Saturday, so if I get off early enough. Or if the Gators play at 12 o'clock, I'll probably just take the day off, you know, see how that goes. But if I get off early or I take the day off one night, I will be there with my Gator stuff on. So, y'all can't say because now. Call your motherfucking boy. I'm also going to see um, some other games, you know, Clemson and Auburn. That's going to be a good game. You know, I'm rooting for Auburn in that one. I don't hate Clemson, but, you know, I'm rooting for Auburn in that one. I always liked Auburn as well. Uh, Georgia, they playing Buffalo. We already know Georgia's going to win that one. This is Buffalo. They suck. And yeah, uh, the main game everybody's probably looking for is um, Alabama and Michigan in Arlington, Texas. And everybody knows my strong hatred for the Alabama Crimson Tide. So, uh, excuse me. So, yes, I will be pulling for Michigan in the first game. I will be pulling for Michigan. On um, the following week, uh, September 9th, I won't say the 8th. I said the 9th, the Sunday. I probably will make my return to Hooters if I don't make my, make my return in August. I need to because I got a, um, I got a year's worth of coupons for Hooters, you know, for every month of the year, and I got I'm trying to use them all. So I, I definitely gotta go to Hooters this month. But if I don't make it, I will be there September 9th all day, every, I mean, all fucking day because foot because the NFL is, will be back. And I'm ready to talk some motherfucking shit, you know. Got some key matchups going. You got some matchups in Week One that uh, you might keep your eye on. Broncos too is of course that's gonna be the game of the week, obviously. That's the game I look forward to Sunday night. 
And that's, how I'm, that's why I say I'm going to be here from 12 noon until they motherfucking close or kick my ass out. And show one come first. But Hooters likes me. And the, and the girls like me too, so. I'm just going to be here until they close because they will never kick me out. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm a loyal customer. I'm a regular there. I'm not trying to brag about being a regular at Hooters. I've been drinking so yeah. If I start talking like a retard, hopefully I don't. Bear with me. But yeah, uh, I'm a regular there. They like me there. They not even tired of my ass. <laughs> and I know some of y'all probably saying, oh, because you shipping them money. Uh, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I'm not going to get into that because you got to be with me to, to see what really goes down at Hooters. I really do it, Hooters. I do flirt, though. I will get out of that. I do flirt. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I do flirt the girls. I like them. Most of them are cute. Others, um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, I did re revamp my room around just a little bit. Not much. You know, this, this I don't know the same, but, um, yeah. Man, this side of the wall is different. I don't think I ever saw that part of the room. Oh, yeah, I have. Uh, if y'all catch the, me count down to um, Broncos Raiders game from um, last year, you notice those, uh, f uh, notice those uh, pictures on the wall that were spread out. I had about um, three ladies on the wall, but I moved them all, and that's why. I got a new Broncos banner. I, I, I picked it up in Alaska. Across the it's called the sports, you know. I've seen that commercial, cool commercial. If y'all ever go to Anchorage, Alaska, sports fans, if you ever go to Anchorage, Alaska, go to Excalibur Sports. It's a great store. You'll be mesmerized. It's like, wow, all this shit. That's how I'm be art. Me, that's how y'all gonna be. Uh, football fans, I appreciate that. I know they have at least something from every 32 teams. Because it's Alaska, they don't have a they don't have a certain team there. Um, baseball, I seen, I seen a few stuff here and there for baseball. I didn't really see any Braves stuff. Basketball, I know they got Knicks stuff. They got Lakers stuff. Uh, Celtics, Bulls, you see to me NBA teams. I know, I know they have all 32 NFL teams. At least something from each one of those teams. Hockey, not too many from hockey. I know I've seen a few here and there. College sports, I know that I see some Miami Hurricane stuff. I see some Crimson Tide stuff. Michigan, Florida. Uh, who else? Um, oh, and U UGA fans. No Georgia Bulldog stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. But um, this other stuff I can't remember. Yeah, so I, yeah. Gotta do better. It's, it's Bronco time, baby. Yeah, they beat the Chicago Bears 31-3 in preseason, but, you know, I don't care so much for preseason. It's just, see how the team is. That's how I look at it, you know. It is what it is. You know, I like I like how the defense did on uh, that game. It, I was really proud of them. Hopefully, they can carry that momentum to the regular season. Um, another note I want to talk about um, before I get back to the sports. I finally got the um, PlayStation thing. Right on connection. I finally got that. So now I have a PSN. So any y'all motherfuckers who like the game, it's time to get it's time to get this motherfucker cracking. I only I pretty much got sports games for the most part. So um, if y'all guys want to challenge me and get your motherfucking ass whoop, my PSN my PSN is a fizzle the true. I'm posting a link down there. A fizzle the true. You know, and y'all cats who follow me on Twitter. It's pretty much spelled the same way, you know, it's just going to be um, a little switched around as far as um, the characters, but um, the name is still, 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 the name is still spelled the same. Um, so, yeah, I did um, get, some, so, you know, I got YouTube and um, Facebook on here and all that good stuff. I got SEC Digital Network on y'all motherfuckers, you know. That's my homeboy, I, mean, I want to say my homeboy, that's the homie right there, Eric Falcon TV, you know, I was watching his video, he's talking about um, the Falcons. Shout out to you, Air Falcon TV. I watch your, I like your videos, man. You, you keep doing the good work, man. Week two is fucking on, homie. Hope you make it down to Atlanta for that game. Cause I want to meet y'all in person. Sports Line, ATL, Avon, uh, G7, Augator, and um, Caddy Boy. You know y'all Falcons fans, y'all doing y'all thing. King Bird, you know y'all cats doing y'all thing. I give y'all props for that. So um, so uh, I'll probably so. It's likewise, I will be at the game for the um, Broncos Falcons game week two Monday night. So I hope to meet some of y'all Falcon fans there. You know, like I said, shout out to you, Air Falcon TV. I like your videos. I enjoy your videos, man. 
And I don't really try to talk about the, the race thing in my videos because I can really care two shit. But um, Blackjack's way out of line for uh, call you a nigga in this video. But hey, you got that handled, so everything's everything. Move on. Um, speaking of Broncos, you know, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk a little brief about because I don't really, I don't really like to talk about them football season. Me during preseason, you know. Peyton Manning went four for seven. Uh, 44, 47, something like eight yards. And then um, Brandon Stokely, welcome back. He made Peyton Man throw in us. He made Peyton Man's pass intercepted when it was a surefire touchdown. You got to do better than that, Brandon. Your second term here, man, on the rail. But, you know, they did get the win. But, like I said, it's pointless because it's because it's just preseason. Pittsburgh. Uh, Hold of steel. Big Ben 2493. Steel Legends, 209 Chaz. Uh, who's the other guy? Um, Salvatore Mike. Be ready. We won. I'm coming after your ass. I'm coming after your ass. The following week, week two, ATL Falcons. It's fucking on. It's fucking on. Y'all be ready. And on Sportsline ATL, I'm going to make sure you watch this video because I got a bet for you now. I thought of a bet for you while I was in Alaska. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great bet. And, you know, it's going to be like a reversal bet. But I will not be wearing Falcon stuff or praising these Falcons on here. I'm not going to have you praise the Broncos. Well, not like that. But um, here's a bet for you, Sports Line ATL, for the um, Broncos Falcons game. So, it's, you know, I like to drink Four Locos. And you like to drink Bud Ice. We're going to reverse this bitch around. If the Broncos beat the Falcons on Monday night, it's a two part. it's a two-part bet. Part one, you have to drink a big ass four loco. You know, like the one that Philadelphia had in her video when the Eagles lost to the Falcons last year. You gotta drink that big ass four loco. What flavor? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what flavor you get. Um, you just gotta drink the four loco in in one in the entire video, one sitting. You know you. Could, Pause and, and breathe for a second, but you know, you have to drink the entire four loco in one video. The second part is Oh yeah, second part is you have to play the song We Going Mile High. I'll put the link below if I can. It's a rock song. You gotta play that. And you gotta if for one minute you have to praise the Denver Broncos and do a mile high salute. And say mile high salute to it's your boy Fizzle and the rest of the um, crazy orange crush killers. If the Atlanta Falcons lose, I mean, excuse me, um, if, if the Atlanta Falcons shall beat the Broncos, which I do not see happening, I I will drink a Bud Ice. Because you like to drink Bud Ices, I will drink a big ass, beer, big ass um, can of Bud Ice. And I will play, uh, NC Hammer's too legit to quit. I will do the Dirty Bird dance. I will, uh, for one minute. And this, this is going to be two different videos. You can um, do. The four local in one video, then come back and do the um, my high salute. We're going my high in the next video, and vice versa. If the Falcons shall beat the Broncos, I will do. I will, this will probably be two different videos anyway. So I would do on um, one video. I would do um, the um, too legit to quit dance. I mean, too legit to quit dirty bird dance. And I remember back that back in '98, it got on my fucking nerves. You know, if you're not a Falcons fan in Georgia, it, it got on your fucking nerves. I would do the dirty bird dance, and I would I mean. The two on the MC Hammers tools just to quit. I know a lot of y'all Falcons fans are trying to do make somebody do his bit for the longest. And nobody was mad enough to step up to the plate. But I am. I'll step up to the plate. I'm not afraid to do the dirty bird dance. And to too legit to quit. Bring it. And another and another video I will um, drink a butt ice. So we got a bet? Let me know. I'm down. I'm game for anything. I might have a bet for you too here on Falcon TV. I'll think about it. You know. But I'm not going to stick your I love your logo crap. You know, you can have that I love your logo BS. But I will say this though. B-O-E. Broncos, Broncos over everything. Feel the Bronco. Holla at your boy. Now on um, to the final note. ATL Braves. I'm going to try to make this real quick. About the um, Braves. They're in the series right now with the New York Mets. They just beat the Mets 9-3 tonight. And they slammed. I'm talking about second inning. They, they killed the Mets in the second inning. They just slammed their asses. 
Not a fucking run. Everybody was on point. Mets cannot come back, man. The Mets are fucked. They're done. Hey, they say stick. A, I say stick a fork in them. <laughs> stick a fork in the air. Stick a fork in it. Cheat me out. Psycho pal. Uh, Met Sunder. I can't okay, stick a fork in it. This season's done. This season's fucked. It's irrelevant. Braves winning series. Hey, you know, no, 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 don't matter what happens tomorrow. Once I see the Braves winning that game tomorrow as well, it's sweeping your asses once again in New York. And before that, um, the Braves were in a series with the Phillies. You know, I see uh, Eagles fan for like 17's hate video. Luckily for him, I saw that last minute. And, you know, he said, um, Braves, uh, you know, we call you the chokers because you did choke against us. Dude, it's fucking August. I like you, Eagles fan for like 17. You're a good guy. You're, you're a hardcore Philly fan. I get that. But it's August now. You're talking about the same shit you said in May. About fucking choking and I, we, we get the point. But the Braves collapsed at the end. I didn't like it. Braves country, we did not like it. God damn, you already said the same shit, man. Come on, you don't got say something different, man. But guess what? But um, and you want to talk about uh, you rather win on uh, division five straight times, and covers one World Series in that um in that time and. Win the division series 14 straight. Excuse me. Win the division 14 straight years and only accomplish one World Series and years of choking, whatever. What for starters? Braves only collapsed twice. It's not you making it seem like the Braves collapsed every fucking year. The Braves only collapsed twice. And that was in the 91 World Series. Fucking flies, man. It was only in the 1991 World Series against the Twins. The Braves could have should have won that one. They fucked up and um and the Twins took advantage of it. And the 96 World Series, like you said. Braves got to two nothing starting Yankees and Yankees just came back and just kicked shit, shit kicked the Braves. But um, yeah, you make it seem like Braves are, are known for choking. But t I tell you this though, you can you can say you can say you don't want fourteen consecutive division titles all you want. The reason being because the Phillies will never know how it feels to win fourteen straight titles. Yeah, bet that, homie. No, don't bet that, but um. Now ride right on that. You will never know how I feel to win 14 straight titles. The Phillies will never know how to do that. And matter of fact, I don't think any other team in the MLB will know how it feels to win 14 straight titles. You know they only embraced only one World Series and lost four. But you know, I'm proud of the fact that they did win the division titles. Yeah, I, I wish they could have got more World Series titles. Who doesn't? But you know, it just didn't happen that way. You know, should have, could have, didn't. So nothing I can do about it. And, you know, 2000, you're talking about 2010, they, they choked the division away to the Phillies, 2011, you choked out the wild card, you put their bitch asses off the fucking wild card. Who gives a fuck? You, this one of y'all cats in the TTC in the fucking sports world, outside of YouTube. Uh. Y'all, Phillies fans, you acting like Alabama fans. You're stuck in your fucking past. It's 2012. What the fuck you doing in 2012? Oh, I forgot. You're the South Dwellers! Hey, Phillies! Have fun the motherfucking in all these settle, settle, because you're not getting the fuck out. Marlins gonna win. Marlins gonna get fourth place. Mets will be third. You're the seller dwellers. You're the seller dwellers this year. Their division's coming down to the Braves and the Nationals. And like I said, um, on the real, I am worried about September. I'm, I'm being real. I am worried about September. I don't know what to expect. Because I know the Bra Braves have been having some bad Septembers as of lately. And I will admit that. But um, eventually things will turn around. You know, this is our Braves got opportunity to do the damn thing. Let's go ahead and finish the fucking job. They all know how, they have a hot August. Let's carry a bitch over to September and have a hot September and get in the fu fucking playoffs. Hopefully the Nationals will still fall off and Braves win the division. But Nationals are too damn hot right now. Plus they're playing weak ass teams right now, so. There's nothing we can do about it. And um, Braves, you gotta start beating the Nationals. If you want to win the NLEs, you have to beat Washington. You're struggling against Washington. You you take care of the other teams. You take care of Miami, New York, and Philly, because they're not even competition for you anymore. Your Braves have officially owned their asses. You just got to beat Washington. You got to come back and beat Washington. That's the only thing that work I mean is, um they gotta do. If you can beat Washington is on uh, next few series. It, you should not. You, there's no way in hell you should lose that in the East. But if, if Washington keeps on whooping your ass, they're going to win the East. 
Then you just better get that wild card. Braves went five and three when I was in Alaska. I know um, when I first got there, they was playing the Miami Marlins. They took three or four from them. And they finally won a Monday game when they beat the Marlins on Monday. And then they played the Astros, took two or three for them. And that was a disappointment because the Astros are the worst team in the MLB. Braves should have swept their asses. There should be no way in hell they let Astros win at least one game that fucking series. That was, that was a crying shame. But yeah. But, you know, at least they did win the series, but I'm still disappointed because they, they didn't let Houston win at least one game. They should have whooped their ass on the real. And then they was playing the Phillies um, in between me being there and me being on the way home. And they did take two or three from Philly. Now they, um, like I said, they're in the series at the Mets right now. They um they won, the first, they won Friday night and Saturday night. And let's hope. Fuck this hope. Let's see them beat their asses tomorrow. Get this shit over with. And after New York, they got a series with the San Diego Padres. There are, uh, there are not any San Diego fans on YouTube. So I'm not. And I'm really trash talk outside the East anyway. Not like that. So I was going to trash talk the Padres. The Padres are horrible too. They should, they should sweep their asses. You know, the Padres are the third worst team in the NL. Right behind. um, No, the fourth worst team in the NL. Cubs, Rockies, and Astros are worse than them. So. And, you know, this will be the first. And the Padres are the only NLT that the Braves had to play this season. They're going to find going to play them this, uh, starting Monday. And then the um, Braves will play every NLT. Now it's time to, um, now it's time to push towards the playoffs. All right. Let's go, Braves. Let's push towards the playoffs. Let's try to win this East. If not, let's win the wild card. Let's get back in the motherfucking playoffs. Uh, uh, Broncos. It's all year. Broncos. They got the West on lock. There's no way in hell these other three teams are going to win this goddamn division. Braves got the basically Broncos in the ALC West Champions. Put it down. Put it down. Go ahead, mark it down. A feels sad. Broncos going to win the ALC West this year. It's true. It's going. It's going they're going to win the AL. Oh, they're going to win the ALC West. Peyton Manning, Tracy Porter. You know this team is revamped. And they won the ALC West last year. Huh? So, really. They got the West on lock. Let's see how y'all keep trying. You're not gonna win the West this year. You, you be look. <coughs> excuse me. Y'all catch be looking to win wild card. Yeah, y'all stepped up, but it's not like you're gonna win wild card. Especially you got Pittsburgh and Baltimore still fighting for the door, and the losing got a losing going on making wild card. And this one tell who's my East and the South. As far as that, you know, Patriots got the East on lock. Texas got the South on lock. Only the only divisions worth fighting for is the North. That's between Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Denver got the West. Well, y'all motherfuckers sit the fuck down and try for that wild card. No, no, you try for a fucking dra early draft pick. That's what the fuck y'all gonna get. And on Florida, I think it's our year. I think it's the year of the Gator. Am I saying they're gonna win the East? Maybe. They could win the East. You know, defense, stellar. Offense, mm, that's another question. Quarterback, that's an issue. You got Drizzle and Brisket, whatever their names are. Got those two cats. If if these two cats can get the um get it together and start playing their asses off, offense is gonna be stellar. And Florida should do great. They should challenge Georgia and South Carolina for these. And I don't see Georgia winning the SEC anyway. So I think if Florida can get the quarterback issue set up in the situation. The East is coming down between Florida and South Carolina. If Florida, they stumble on offense. South Carolina wins the East. Georgia will be a second. Florida will be a third. How about your boy? That's all I got to say for now. I know it's been about a um, 25 minute video, but who gives a fuck what you think? This is my motherfucking video. If you don't like that? I'm going to spend for 25 minutes trying to bring out some real shit. Give y'all a fucking update. Y'all can get the fuck out. I. So I gotta say for now, uh, this is pretty much a um, brief update of what's going on. Like I said, I probably moved to Alaska. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Oh yeah, I was about to show y'all this. This was I got. Uh, this is I got this in Alaska. I almost said Denver. <laughs> I got a uh, coffee mug, glass, shot glass, and um and not a mug, but um. Damn, I'm feeling so drunk right now. I forgot what they call that thing on top. Um. Cozy, yeah. 
Jacuzzi. I gotta stop. I gotta stop drinking too much beer before I make a fucking video. Yeah, I got that in Alaska. Um, I got the banner in on the Denver airport. No, I got that. I got that in Alaska too. I got some Bronco clothes. Um, a Peyton Manning shirt in on uh, Denver. Um, Denver airport. And on this hat right here, also came for the Denver airport. So yeah, I'm Bronco. I'm, I'm all Bronco out this season. I am manitized. And like I said, I probably I will likely be at the Broncos Falcons game. No yes or no just yet. Uh, I'll let y'all know later on. But until then, eight puzzle sign up. Y'all have a nice night. And don't make me have to come back on here expecting some motherfuckers inside of here because they want to talk shit about the Broncos brazen gears. Hey, hey, fuck y'all motherfuckers. I'm just playing. <laughs> y'all have a nice night for real. I'm out.